Okay guys, so here's what I'm up to. Uh, I'm using the larger camera right now. Only because uh, it'll give me 12 minute, 12 minute, 12 minute segments versus uh, three. So uh, I can just, makes it a little bit easier sometimes for me to do any uh, editing, edit, editing, 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 if I want to edit. So, so this is what was inside the safe. Now, you don't see over here, but this has gotten broke. This was in here like that. And the way it is, it holds uh, 369 rifles. Well, I need at least another six more onto this, which can be done. Uh, this has to be redone. So I'm going to take this apart. This has to come off and cut so that I can do what I have to do with this. And this has to be lowered. So that's right about where we're at today. Now. If I can figure out oh, here we are, what I did with the drill gun, I want to get this off and out of the way. Come on, come on, be nice, get in there. What the hell are you in there on? Doing hug an angle, right? have to do that. Why did I do that? No, I don't know. Okay, Alright, so this is done. That's off. Now, this, I really don't care. I like to just take it off the way it's supposed to come off, but I really don't know how it's in there. And uh, I gotta drop it down anyhow. So I gotta come down. I, I gotta come down to about these things. And if I want to clear everything, and I don't want to have to try to cut through this carpet with the uh, saw. So, let me go over here. Over here, you say? Over here? Over here, I say. Let's cut some of this carpet right here. I know. Can't cut it with that. I was watching a video this morning, and by the way, it's probably close to noontime. I really don't know. 11.55. I was watching a video this morning for a few minutes before we got in here. Because little Bud, uh, if he comes in here, I'll show you. I'll take his picture. Little Bud has... Um, a drain in his ear because we took him to the vet yesterday uh, a new vet because I wanted to get him fixed and because the doctors that we're familiar with moved to another veterinarian clinic. and uh, it's about 30 minutes away which is okay I mean if you know, if they're good, they're good. You know, if they're going to treat the boys right, 
Well, that's all there is to it. Well, I got one girl now. Do most of our internet as we can. Um, but anyway, the veterinarian over here, the one that we always use, that was since bought out for 15 pills of these antibiotics, they charged us $70 for 15 pills. We got 20 of them. Well, we ordered 20, but they had to go through them to get, you know, okayed uh, for 20 bucks. I mean, we, we just bought 15 for 70 off them. So 20 bucks for 20, how low? Uh, however, they didn't authorize the script yet. You know, I mean, this is just the way they are with that new company that came in there. I mean, if Frenchie was still there, or uh, um, yeah, I forgot the other one's name already. Anyway, if they were still there, they would have been on the phone calling them up for us, saying it's okay, and that's all there is to it. So. We had asked the doctor if there's a chance that he can give us, you know, two or three days worth so that we can continue them while we're waiting for this order to be approved, or can he approve the order? He says, well, let me look at him, you know, when I have him under sedation to cut his <coughs> and he says he'll check his ears because his ear canals are totally closed. I mean, you can't even see in there. I don't know how he hears. I really don't. Uh, he's not hearing well, I know that. And he had a big lump inside here, you know, abscess, not coming out, but it was inside. And it was leaking out through the ear. And that's what some of this medication was supposed to do. You know, uh, start eating up and dissolving. And, and it was working, but it was working slow. So uh, what he had done was he put a drain in it, which was great. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, and he said the medication that he was taking, uh, there was nothing wrong with it. But for what he had, once he was able to get a sample, so to speak, uh, you know, by putting the drain in it, things, um, he needed something a little bit stronger. Uh, uh, but yet nothing that was going to bother him. So there was another medication apparently. So he put the drain in and uh, he gave us the new medication for his ears and he didn't charge us. Well, I'll tell you what, I expected as the wife expected to see twelve, fourteen hundred dollars you know, between the drainage, the ear checking and the blood work that we had him do and, and the you know, but um, we were we were surprised. It came in at like 860, which was great. So, uh, so now we'll see. So I take them back in five days. They're going to remove the drain, and uh, they're going to check, you know, and see what happens there. And then uh, we're going to see how his hearing is actually going to be in his ears, and then we can decide. Uh, it, what we want to do or what can be done and what should be done or does it have to be done right away. I'd rather not do it immediately. I'd rather let him recuperate a little bit more from the and the drain in his ear and, and get the infections out before you start going back in again. But um, we'll see what happens. But uh, so far it seems to be uh, a pretty good guy. All right, so now this is going to go here. Um, the other piece is going to come out here and go into the wall of the safe over there. This has a shelf right here, which I took off, which I'm going to have to cut. So I'm not going to cut that until I decide how much I'm going to add, because I'm going to add to this side, because this is the part that went from uh, that, the shelf, across with three of these, times three. Uh, 
this. So that would be maybe an inch longer than this, inch and a half longer than this. Well, what I'm going to be doing, and it's 18 inches deep, what I'm going to be doing is making this six instead of uh, three. So I'm basically doubling this. I may make it five, I don't know, uh, because I only need really six more. But if I'm doing it, ah, so I'm going to measure to see uh, how much room it's going to take if I use six versus five, and then whatever that room is, I can cut that. Down there, this side, we don't need a lot of room. You know, we just have a couple of, uh, you know, uh, small, you know, fireproof type uh, file cabinets that we keep some of our records in. Uh, I have this. So, I can take this end off. So if I take that off, let's do this for a minute. Get an idea where, where I'm at. to make my knees hurt me. Okay, now, we're not going to use that end for a straight end. Because I didn't do it on a saw, I did it by hand. And I know it's not going to be straight, straight. So, uh, this has to be have to be. However, we have to figure out what it has to be. Here we go. I usually throw this in my pocket. I have I got this. I cut this. <laughs> Yay! I cut this. Um, I went inside and measured the old one between what I have here and in there is 18 inches. Now this is where this one falls right here. So Hey bud, how are you? Oh, people want to see your little incision. Yeah, wait a minute. Let me get our little camera over here. Yeah. That's him. Let's get back to what I'm doing over here. All right. Now, what was I doing over here? Let me plug the camera back in. Yeah. Let this thing charge up. Or maintain a charge anyway, and uh, we'll take it from there. So anyway, it was pretty good that the guy was able to take care of all that. And, um, you know, and plus I, I have another trip to go back, but I can wait for him. They said uh, they allowed me to come in. I met the the doctor and. And I met the whole staff, which was nice, because these other ones, I've been there for 10, 12 years. They don't let you in. You know, and uh, that's just not my cup of tea. So they let me in. I told them I wanted to meet the guy. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm the, hey, uh, how you doing? How's Jim? Yeah. Now, Jem is putting on weight, but she's also cutting. 
uh, she's starting to cut in more, even though she's, you know, uh, not losing anything, but because of the exercise she's getting now, she's starting to get more of a shepherd stance. All right, anyway, where was I? Um, I don't know if I want to go 18 across, because when I went in and measured it, it kind of took away a little bit of room for me to put the bags in. Now there's room for them, but I got to remember that the door is a little bit smaller than inside. So if I do this, let's see here. Now like I said before, five across, if I can gain one up and one across, um, That'll be fine. I'd like to gain six. I just don't think I'm going to see six. So we're going to see what we end up with here. Now that I have a template to go with, I'm going to use this, which is nice to, it was still usable. Okay, I may have saved some inches here with five. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And that brings me right to there. So that means, what do I have now? Probably the same. No, I hope not. Sixteen and a half. Great. So that puts me right to here. So this line is not going to be used. That line is not going to be used. So I sit here, nine three, and I have nine times three. So I think I have a card. Now, I'm going to try to sell all the pieces we did. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you this is where it's going to go. Yeah, I think it's going to go. You're going to go chasing me now? Yeah. You're going to go chasing me now? Jim, what's up? What's up? What's up? See, on the last one, this was the last set, the outermost set. The rifle would sit in here, but, well, it was, they were sitting, they weren't falling out. But if I wanted to put a piece here just to prevent them from falling out, but that piece is going to be so thin that it's just going to end up getting broke anyway, so I'm not going to bother. Alright, okay, so this is going to get cut off here. Alright, 